afternoon it's December it's cold and I'm just out for the night in my van uh, looking forward to this I'm going back to a campsite in Buxton uh, where me and Chris spent the night when they did that cave camp if you didn't see that last video then I'll put the link up here um, so I'm currently driving or I've been driving up the uh, well, the UK's most dangerous road, the A537, that links Macclesfield to Buxton in the Peak District, and currently stopped at the the famous Cat and Fiddle pub. I've been coming up these parts for years, and on the bike, it's it was one of them roads where you, you have to ride it. So bikers from all around the country will will ride the Cat and Fiddle, but it's also a very very dangerous road. Um, yeah, sorry about the, the fan at the top, I've not got time to put a block in it, so a little bit of quick intro at the minute to say where I'm going. It's really cloudy, uh, it's a bit miserable, so I was going to do some drone shots, so what I'm going to do is leave that to tomorrow. So, a little bit of a Christmas campsite tonight, uh, cook up some good grub, a um, bit of a chat, and uh, I'm going to enjoy it and then show you some of the things how... I kind of keep warm and cosy and uh, in in my van, so uh, I'll just show you the Cat and Fiddle pub. What I'm looking at at the minute. So that's the Cat and Fiddle pub, uh, but I'll, I'll I'll speak a bit more about it tomorrow. What I've got planned. So uh, so you're on the way to Buxton. So I'll see you in a bit when I'm on the campsite. Well, one has arrived. It's stayed. It's called Staden Grange campsite and. Uh, Absolutely brilliant pitch up. So uh, there's electric supply of which I'm going to use in a minute. Um, just show, take you for a bit of a bit of a walk around. So it's getting dark already. So the van's parked up there, and then I've got my electric to to plug in over here. Looks a bit old that one. I hope it works. Should do. I said everything everything's live. And uh, the conveniences are not that far, and yeah, absolutely spotless as well. Look at this, folks! Look at that, spotless. Oh, it's lovely and warm in here as well. And you get your showers. A nice warm shower in the morning, one pound coin, six minutes, and again, really clean, tidy. That's what you want, isn't it? So I think I'm on a nice, uh, fairly level bit. I hope I've got some chocks, but I've never used them. It looks pretty level to me, and I've got it to myself. There's like a tent over there. But last time, that was there as well, so I think it might just be a permanent fixture. Let's take a walk over here. 
So if you like kind of where you pitch up your your motorhomes and camper vans and then uh, so over there is like um, you can actually stay in like uh, the lodges and things so this bit here is like your tent field so I'm thinking for next year with the guys on the bikes but plus down here as well is where you can have uh, your fire pit so let's have a wander there so yeah it's a little bit of a trek but it's out of the way for a reason uh, obviously if you want to light a fire me, me and Chris we're here on that last one uh, I don't know whether anyone's been since so tonight I'm going to use it again get a good fire going and uh, got plenty of fuel so I'm going to get plugged in get my little heater on get the van warmed up for later it's nice and cosy and uh, set up my, my things and uh, I'm going to get some beers hopefully if it's still open that is from uh, Buxton Brewery. I'll get some uh, get some nice beers, I think. So I'm just putting a little heater on, <clears throat> and this is a space saver heater. It's kind of like a desk warmer. So <clears throat> as soon as I shut this up, this will be get warm and toasty really well. And it's pretty safe, has an anti tilt. Um, trouble is, it won't power via the power box because it'll just trip it, it's over the 500 watts so um, but only kicks out a bit of heat but it's enough to warm the area of the van so I'm powered currently uh, say on the electric from the campsite with my lights <coughs> so the power box is probably gonna I don't know power up a laptop might watch a movie later um, and I can put my phone on top of it to charge it as well so little bits like that I can do. I've even got some Christmas lights to put up. Look at that. Yeah, it'll be Christmassy soon. Time to get these beers, I think, from the uh, Buxton Brewery. I hope it's open. Brew is actually on a little port cabin. So, hey, you okay? Yeah, fine, thanks. Good stuff. Sorry, just videoing. Oh, no worries. It's all part of it. That's fine, what can I do for you? Uh, just some nice, can't remember what they were called now. Um, I just got some great lagers a few weeks ago. The lager is purchased. Brilliant. Well, darkness is practically upon us. Uh, oh, I wish better didn't show you, the pot wash area. Yeah, nice clean area if you for doing your pots. I'm all settled down in my van, as you can see. Kind of got in the uh, the festive spirit a little bit. Got my little lights on. Santa snow globe lantern that I nicked off the mantelpiece. I wonder if the wife will notice. <coughs> Just adds <coughs> it's Christmas at the end of the day, and it all will be in a. In a, in a few days so just taking the opportunity to make make sure that everyone that watches me um, has a great Christmas I know there's a little doubt of uncertainty just at the minute I mean we're on the 20th um, but again when this comes out near Christmas everything should be okay I hope so all set up uh, I'm just <coughs> chilling out with me a Buxton Buxton uh, party in the park lager, which is really really nice. This stuff there's only the last few cans left, apparently. So, cheers, nothing too hectic. Uh, got some nibbles, and uh, I think I'll watch a movie. Uh, this site has got a really good well, I've got 4G anyway, so uh, <laughs> I'll show you what I'm watching. 
or about to watch. I don't know if it's a good idea. Krampus. Anybody seen it? Oh. Well, as soon as the power's back, you can write an angry email to the National Weather Service. Christmas horror movie. You can't be a good horror movie, can you? Love, there's something weird outside. I am calm. I would just be calmer if I knew how we're... So I'm warm and cosy. Got my little space heater on. Uh, I have got the side door open for a little bit of ventilation. And uh, I'm just going to chill out already at the fire pit area I've kind of pre-put some logs down there so I'm gonna cook up some food at the minute um, I'll show you what we're having something a little bit different please don't bork at it I'll say in a minute so uh, it's been a funny few weeks um, I'll tell you what's happened quite a lot my wife had a car accident some people rear-ended her uh, on a hill when it snowed um, we had to cancel our holiday we were going to go to Cape Verde ended up going to Cornwall and I had a fantastic time but it was just too dodgy west coast of Africa if it went red we would have been self isolating for what cost four grand in a hotel somewhere maybe in Heathrow and it, ten, ten nights having to self isolate so we thought sod it let's not take the risk so we went to Cornwall, I'll tell you what, if you want to get away folks in this country Cornwall gorgeous, St Ives, got his own little microclimate I was walking around in just a shirt uh, last week but saying that <coughs> uh, the week before last week I did bring back well I thought I actually had the dreaded Covid because I had all the symptoms um, real sore throat, chest, cough, snip, all the rest of it but it was a really bad cold. I had regular tests every single day. I've been off work anyway, but I kind of thought, oh shit, I might have picked up something here. But um, double jabbed, boosted. Get your boosters, guys. That's the main thing. Get out there, get your boosters before Christmas. Let's stop this thing. So, enough of that. So, plans for the rest of the evening is cook up some food, which I'll show you what I'm going to have in a minute. Um, I'm going to barbecue up here near the van but then you can have a fire or a decent fire in this area so you've got to walk down the other end a little bit so already got a chair ready to go there got some logs um, some fire logs so I'm going to have a nice good fire and kind of sit and watch a horror movie <laughs> in in the woods with the fire going yeah maybe why not so that's my plan for the evening tomorrow we're going to concentrate a little bit more going back up uh, the uh, Cat and Fiddle Road, the A537 and uh, it's going to be I think very cold tomorrow but the weather's going to be pretty good so I'll put the drone up and see some good pictures and uh, give a little bit more explanation about that and on the way out as well I know it sounds a bit weird stick with me guys but I'm going to visit the Buxton Museum because in the last video that I did with me and Big Chris right in the cave not far from here I um, think artifacts have been found from Roman times, um, uh, a, a bear school and things like that. So apparently they're in the Buxton Museum, it's free to go in. So I'm going to take myself there I think. In the morning I'm going to get up early and go and get some nice fresh eggs. And uh, I might have a healthy breakfast. And it's something I picked up from Cornwall. Shall we say, me being a northerner, there was, there was a girl in the hotel and she ordered, quite a posh aren't they in Cornwall, should we say that these days, posh? So, not like us, full English. Um, so she ordered a uh, scrambled egg and smashed avocado. So, in the morning, I think I might give it a go, after my porridge of course, but I'll have to go and uh, walk and get the eggs, if the chickens have laid but a little bit of exercise in the morning go for a bit of a wander right so let me show you what food I've got for tonight and I'm gonna have to put a big light on and all that big light on now that's a northern saying I know I said it before so 
So some a little bit different. Uh, we've got sliced lamb's liver. And there's the uh, aforementioned avocado. I can't do it one hand, keep the lid up. So we got that. I knew that avocado would come in handy with something. Look at that. Perfect for propping the uh, fridge lid open. Yeah, this Christmas film's pretty good. Krampus. Tell you what, cosy, having a beer, can't beat it. Right guys, <coughs> so here's the lamb, I'm going to kebab them, I'll put them on skewers and potatoes are in the pot already <coughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to make, I think, what have we got here, I'm making up as I go along as usual, uh, that soup is really nice, so what I'm going to do is make a lovely sauce with like a roasted mushroom and lamb stock and mint so that's going to be the sauce and then we're going to have some uh, boiled might not fry the onions a mixture of onion and cabbage and the potatoes with a lovely sauce and the liver kebabs yeah no it's a bit different isn't it <laughs> so uh, did a little bit of pear in here but I need to fire up the barbecue first barbecue bricks come in a ready bag so it makes it pretty easy and just light the bag just let that burn up Get the coals nice and white. So thankfully the smoke's not going the other way. They should burn up really lovely. Finish things first. Get a hand wash. cloth under this mat. So what I'm actually going to do <coughs> is saute the onion and cabbage off. You see there. Got this Cheshire butter. Uh, salted as well, loads of flavour, but because I've had this bottle of um, olive oil in the van it's kind of gone a bit solidified so I need a little bit of oil out of that if I can. <coughs> Coals are starting to go now but they're not ready for, for cooking on. So you can get a bit of oil out of this. Well, there you go. You need a bit. I'm going to put some butter in. So put that to one side. Put the onions in a minute. And again, when they're cooked down a bit, um, the roasted mushroom. And a little bit of lamb stock in there for flavour and because obviously we're using 
uh, lamb's liver. Uh, I'm going to put some mint sauce in as well. And a good bit of seasoning. So it should be absolutely beautiful. What I've already done with the sticks is kind of uh, pre wet them a bit. So we're going to start preparing the, the liver. Get this butter off. Ooh, look at that. That is gorgeous butter. Keep some of that. That is lovely. Well, that'll be enough. Not too much. That spuds the boiler. <coughs> Right, this could get a little bit messy, but I don't want it to, if you know what I mean. I'll try and be as clean as possible. Liver is extremely healthy. Those are vitamins, iron in it, minerals, you name it. It's a very, very healthy food, and it is under, under, undervalued. I mean, this was probably what about a quid. I'm not going to use all that, but you know, you look at a piece of steak or something like that, or, or lamb. It's expensive meat, but liver really undervalued. So let's make some nice kebabs out of it. Well, basically, I'm going to skewer the meat. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and get in it first. This old Bear Grylls knife is uh, not as sharp as what it used to be. You don't want any sort of horrible mess, if you know what I mean. Blood. I'm sure everything's clean afterwards holding my hands. Right, so let's get these skewers. <coughs> try and thread some pieces on. I say this might not might not work. So the northerners out there will go, oh yeah, not bad, but the southerners probably go, ooh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe not. And the vegans and the vegetarians will probably turn off. It's probably why I've lost a few viewers. <laughs> Meatiness. Right, so. Mm. A bit tricky this, isn't it? Let's have a damn good clean up. Now this is probably one of the trickiest things I've cooked, but he who dares, Rodders, he who dares. Actually, well, after them few days, I am really hungry. So just hope this bloody works. Let's just do a couple. I have to get rid of that. Right, so let's pop that there. Leave that there. Coals are still. Uh, doing the job. I'm not doing any more than that. Right, I'll bring you back when I'm putting the uh, the meat on the barbie. Coals quite, aren't quite there yet, so just to show you, I've got a little, it's kind of like half a 
lamb cube in there so I can know a little bit of knob of butter, some olive oil and ready for the uh, cabbage and onion. So I put the potatoes to one side I'm going to season up the liver. All hands are all washed and sanitised back again. So the only thing I'll be touching now is the end of these skewers which are clean to transfer the meat to that grill so it should work out pretty well. So what's that guy called? Salt or something in a very expensive restaurant so there you go, always seasoned from a from a height. Oh it's so I hope they don't drop off. And this is a mixture sea salt, uh, so rock salt, black pepper, thyme, mixed herbs, got a little bit of chilli flake in there as well. Um, so on a little bit of special, chef special seasoning. Right, potatoes can go to one side. There we go. In with the cabbage and the onions. I'm going to put a little bit of potato water in it, just a touch. Just pop the lid on. So nice and low, just let it simmer. Let's get this soup in. Get a spoon on the job. Just let that lightly simmer. Okay, coals are lovely and white hot now, so should be perfect. I'm gonna kind of put them on. Just hope they don't stick too much. Right, let's get them cooked and then. Uh, We'll get it served up on the plate. Yep, cooking nicely. And there we have it. I think what I'll do, so the lamb is just it's a little bit crunchy on the outside, and then <clears throat> what you've got then. The secret of the lamb's liver is not to cook it too much, or any liver. And then, uh, lovely sauce going over the top. With the onions and the cabbage and the mushrooms. Oh yeah. Feels like I'm in France or something like that. <laughs> Let's get that on. I'm going to enjoy this, something a little bit different. So, don't bulk at liver folks. It's good for you. It's well, I've got to say that <coughs> that liver was gorgeous. <coughs> I really enjoyed that. So what I'm having now, <coughs> kind of got the camera a bit of a jointy angle. I know that <coughs> stuck for space in there. This is what you don't see is me frigging, flaming, frigging about with the, the tripod trying to get positioning right. So <coughs> I'm going to have my cheesecake, Starbucks. Vanilla latte and uh, a little bit of uh, whiskey. I think it's a Glenettive in that. I think so. Yeah. Kettle's boiling now. So coffee and a cheesecake just to finish off. And then the worst thing I don't know if you see over here is we've got to get the washing up done. Rather. Right. Kettle's boiled. Not sure what I'm in focus or not. 
<clears throat> just sat, got a little bit of a fire going. And you can't beat it, can you? Cheers. Another wee dram. So the best tip for today, get yourself out, just do a bit. And uh, last time I was here, so I was with my mate, Big Chris, funny enough, he just texted me saying, where's my invite? Sometimes I do enjoy just getting out on my own, you can't beat that. It's actually 10 o'clock. Kind of panned out quite well. Had a good meal. Uh, and then just chilled really. Still not watched all my film. So I'm probably going to do that now. <laughs> a horror film in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so, it should be cool. So, I think you can see me because there's a little square showing up. I mean, I think you, you think you can see me just. So, enough for tonight. I'm going to get up, say, do get me eggs, and uh, hopefully it'll be a clear morning to get back up the, uh, the cat and fiddle. And uh, let's do some nice drone shots and maybe some photography as well. So, and I might even go over to Castleton as well. So, let, let's just see what tomorrow brings. Right, I'm going to catch you in the morning. Well, good morning. <coughs> well, slept really well, I must admit. Uh, this is a view from the back back of the van where I, I lay my bed up. It's a bit messy, you know, at the minute. <coughs> See how everything works there. I was expecting a bit of sunshine this morning. It's not happened. Never mind. Right, so we need to go and have a bit of a walk and go and get them eggs, don't we? So uh, that's what we need to do. Right. See the really. sign there? where the chickens live. Let's get the eggs. <coughs> I hope they've laid. There's a rooster. Remember this on the last video if you watched it? Probably won't be any. Oh no, I don't believe it. Oh, brilliant. I thought there was none left then, there's some nestled just right in the back. <laughs> Six eggs, £1.30. Not bad, eh? Okay, I'm going to cut these eggs up <coughs> with uh, just some note of that. Whenever you're out and about folks, just, just think of it where, I mean look at those gorgeous eggs, £1.33 range. I'll tell you what, let me just, let me just show you these, I'm going to break them into the bowl. Let me show you these, these yolks. <coughs> Probably light doesn't do it justice, but vibrant yolks, can you see there? Absolutely beautiful. So what I'm going to have, so buy local, fresh eggs, we've got some beer as well, I'm in Buxton. So buy the local produce off the local people, why not? Why not do that? So breakfast wise I'm having, uh, I'm going to have omelette with a smashed avocado. Did you really think I was going to have that? Bacon. So we're going to have a look at that. Look, I mean, look at that. Look at the yolks on that. That is, that is absolutely beautiful. So vibrant and yellow. You don't get them like that from the supermarket. Use these back home. Dry fry them. Now I'll put the uh, egg in there once I don't keep them warm. Four pieces, I think. Should do the trick. Oh, 
nice orange juice as well Tropicana multi multivitamin boost need a bit of that right so I'm going to cook this up I'll bring the back when the omelette and everything's on the plate and so prepared You know what? <coughs> I'm going to try a bit. Just to see what it's like. And avocado is very nutritious, you know. Very nutritious. A bit of skin on that. Let's just give it a whirl. So. Avocado and egg. See what it's like together. Hmm. You know what? That's actually really nice. I'm quite surprised. Oh, you live and learn. Tell you what, it is bitingly cold this morning. <clears throat> Just taking the uh, reflectors off and uh, taking the. Uh... Well, let's just see what temperature it is. Drive his door open. Low outside temperature, I don't know if you see that, zero. So yeah, it's cold. Let's make sure we get fired up, shall we? Ooh, a little bit slow there. It's okay. Just while the van's defrosted, <coughs> I'll send the drone up quickly and uh, just show you where we are. So I really enjoyed me uh, stay here, <coughs> Staden Grange. Um, excellent campsite in Buxton, easy to find. And uh, I say, it cost me 26 quid to stay here tonight, but lovely warm shower this morning, nice facilities. And to have somewhere all to yourself, you can't beat it. Uh, it it's dead nice and peaceful, the owners are lovely, uh, very, very friendly. So yeah, I've enjoyed my stay, I really have. So, off to find now uh, those things that were found in that cave where uh, me and Chris were in the other week so uh, I want to have a look at that and see if the bear skull if it's there so when I'm inside that museum I'll, uh, I'll show you some pictures of, of stuff that I found all right see you in a bit
So, mu museums behind me. Just been in. Just seen a couple of the artefacts. I'm not a massive museum lover, but I just wanted to see the skull and the artefacts from that cave. So, job done. Right, let's get back up the cow and fiddle. It's sort a of cloudy day, I don't know where the sunlight is. So, let's, let's get back up that way. So, we're back up to the cat and fiddle pub. I'll step outside in a minute, but just give you a little bit of a brief insight. Uh, pub was stone site, 1700s, built in 1813. Um, it's been owned for a long time by the Robinsons Brewery, which incidentally is based near me. Uh, so, it, it kind of went into disrepair and obviously it was a real popular route for, now I've been up here many, 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 many times on the bike, um, trips up up here on this road and it's notorious the A537 for, well, deaths um, the AA reported it as the UK's most dangerous road bar none and there's loads of bends and twists and turns <clears throat> and you can easily catch it out uh, I overrun a bend once on my uh, I think I had a Yamaha Thunder Ace at the time so yeah, I overshot it and uh, so I know every single bend of this road but you have to treat it with the utmost of respect otherwise it will bite you so going back to the pub um, popular biking spot or was it's now owned by a distiller I say it was empty for a good few years <coughs> uh, the guy so the guy <coughs> now sort of sells whiskey and bottled beer so I've not been inside since you now have to pay for parking otherwise if you don't you can get you get charged which is a bit of a con I think shouldn't really do that I don't think I, I think it's to stop all the bikers pulling up as just what they used to anyway by the by so we're gonna have a walk in we'll have a walk in <coughs> uh, currently an elevation about what 1600 feet up so windy outside but I'll take you outside and what I'll also do as well is uh, I'll get the drone up and you can have a sort of look at the surrounding area but again it's cloudy it's miserable so I'll try and get some good shots if I can see you in a bit Well, I've just been inside and yeah, it's it's been redeveloped, it's like a high-end distillery, everything's going high-end now in it. Mega price gins and whiskies, wow, very expensive. But I just miss it how it was. Proper biker's place. Never mind. Those days are gone now, aren't they? Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. <clears throat> I'm signing off now. So it's a bit shaky. I'm handheld. Put my tripod in the van somewhere and it's, I don't know, down the back and it's stuck. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, all the best to you. Have a great Christmas. Again, once again, please like, 
share, subscribe, hit the bell icon, do the usual, but please subscribe if you liked it. Um, again, leave some comments at the bottom, but uh, all the best for the new year, and let's see what we do next time round. Thanks very much for watching, great stuff. See you now, bye bye.